tip and I'm right, baby. I told y'all I'll come back with the red velvet cake. So I'm coming to give y'all this red velvet cake recipe, y'all. This recipe came from my mama D. Not my big mama, but my mama D. My mama mama. Red velvet cake that's going to make you slap somebody. Y'all hear me? Because I'm telling you, this is going to be so damn good. Mm, 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 mm. But let us get started, y'all. Okay? So with this red velvet cake, you need your swans down cake flour, some of your baking spray, the flour already in, some baking soda, some salt. You need a bottle of red food coloring, y'all. Some lemon flavor, pure lemon flavor extract, some pure vanilla extract, some apple cider vinegar, Hershey cocoa. Some buttermilk, your sugar, and your canola western oil, okay, y'all? And this is gonna be your red velvet cake. So what I got here, you need you two, you need uh two and a half cups of flour, which I got in here, two and a half cups of flour. You need two eggs, and to my flour, I'ma add a half a teaspoon. I mean, sorry, one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt, okay? And we're going to sift that together. Soda. Baking soda. I got my god sister back there, y'all. I had some cake orders for some pound cakes we were making. And she back there licking the spoon and bowls and stuff and washing the dishes, y'all. That's so cute. Hey, y'all. That my god sister Tasha. Tell me to turn away to Carol. Say hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to sift the salt and the uh, baking soda together with the cake flour. And again, y'all, you know you have everything room temperature. When you baking, you got to have everything room temperature. And make everything bake evenly and correct, okay? Don't put no cold ingredients to no baking cake when you baking a cake, okay? Nothing that you bake. So we sift all that together. Okay, that's done. Move that right down. Okay, then you gonna need one and three four cup of sugar that I already got in my bowl. So that's one three four cup of sugar, and you gonna need one and three four cup of western oil, y'all. And we're gonna pour that in there with this uh, sugar. And that's the canola oil, y'all. Not vegetable oil. You need canola oil. Western oil, okay? My grandma said I always use the Western oil. Now, one time I done used generic oil. It came out all right. But I'm going to stick to what she taught me to do it with. And again, this is my Mama D recipe. My Mama Mama, okay? And we're going to cream this sugar and this oil together. And you got to uh, cream it. And, and you only need two eggs, too. But we're going to cream this together. We got to bring this bite like butter. Yeah, we're going to cream this. It's going to take a minute. And this is the most important part of this red velvet cake. Uh, you going to have a dry cake. Okay? So follow me, y'all. Trying to tell you, okay? Let's start this here. <laughs>
y'all. But it's well worth it. like butter y'all coming back like butter so if don't stop it too early we're gonna be meet, beating this for a little minute y'all to come back creamy okay because right now it's still liquidy that's not that's not what you want you're gonna see what i'm talking about when it get there okay so y'all to follow along with me because you know what took enough 30 roll baby you already know okay well, let me get back to it <laughs>
thing, but it still ain't ready, y'all. It still ain't ready, okay? You still got to beat it some more. It done got a little dark in color, but it ain't ready. Keep it moving. <laughs> and come back and show y'all the finished product. But no, I'm gonna do this step by step with y'all so y'all can see how it is so you'll know. Cause this is a time consuming cake and you got to really go step by step. So I'm more of a teacher than just trying to show you anything. I'm gonna show you the, the, the real deal in action y'all, okay? Cause that's what Tip do. Cause Tip never started wrong, okay? So keep on cause we still ain't done with this him.
off. When it come, it come. It may take a while. But when it when it come, it come. Y'all see that? That's what you want. Thanksgiving and Christmas because this is a time consuming cake and this is what you want. You cannot stop beating this until it come back thick like this. This is what you want, y'all. If you don't get this step right, you ain't gonna you gonna have a dry behind red velvet cake. Okay? The only thing I can advise you to do, get your uh what it called kitchen aid. I used to have one, I ain't got no more, so I gotta do it by hand now. But this is what you want, this is what I was talking about. That's why I didn't edit how long I had to do it because it's time consuming. I don't want you to stop too early. You got to get it like this before you stop. And like I said, it's going to be like butter. Y'all see that? That's what you want to see. Okay? So, that's good. That's what you want. So, our next step to this red velvet cake, we're going to take our cocoa and our vinegar. Yes, vinegar. Okay, got me some red apple cider vinegar here. And you only need, let me see, how much vinegar I know I'm put? A, a tablespoon, I want to say, let me go over my stove. Coco. What the damn vinegar? Oh, I need a tablespoon of vinegar. That's what I need. We're going to take a tablespoon of vinegar. Can you use regular vinegar? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, my grandma always use, uh, Mom D always use uh, the apple cider, but I don't use regular vinegar before, too. Okay. So we're going to take that. Tablespoon of vinegar, and you need a tablespoon of your cocoa powder. Okay. Mix that together, your vinegar and your cocoa together. Mix it up real good enough. If you ain't got patience, don't try the cake because you got to have patience. It's time consuming, y'all. But I just mix that up, get enough, cameraman. Mix that up real good. Okay? We're going to add that in here. Okay. We're going to mix that up in here. Need a cup of this buttermilk. Shaken, not stirred. 
And it's okay. I'm going to just use this uh same cup of purple cocoa in. It's fine. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mix a little bit. Add a little bit. Mix a little bit. Add a little bit. That's what we're going to be doing mm. with this here. Oh, shit. I forgot I had my watch calling on. y'all. One bottle of your red food coloring, y'all. Then we mix that in. Like this here, y'all. Again, this is time consuming. But this is the best dog on red velvet cake you ever gonna have. It's gonna make you say, shut your mouth. I'm trying to tell you. You got to follow these steps the way I'm doing it, y'all. 
Don't half step. Don't stop beating too early because your arm might get tired or whatever. You got to do it like this here. And I promise you, tip will never stir you wrong. For all y'all that done tried my recipes out there, I appreciate y'all. I see give y'all feedback. I see it. I heart everybody that tell me about my stuff here, y'all. I don't know everything. Camera man, put a camera on me. I'm talking. I don't know everything, y'all. But what I do know, I share. And again, tip will never stir you wrong. Okay? Y'all follow these ingredients on this red velvet. And I guarantee, yes indeed, you going to love it. You going to love it. Trust and believe. And y'all see the longest part of it is creaming the dog on oil and the sugar together with the two eggs. That's the longest part of this cake. Because guess what? We bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30, 35 minutes. And they done. Let them cool. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to, uh, I got the homemade icing. I got to show you the, the icing to go on here. It's a cream cheese pecan icing, y'all. Okay? But guess what? The cake, this right here, done. Get your three little pans. Look at that, y'all. Woo-wee! Yes, baby, yes! Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready for this. They gonna hurt themselves at the table over this here cake, y'all. Yes, they is, baby. Get your three little round pans right here, y'all. Move some of this stuff out the way here. You gotta get this here in the oven. God, don't make it messy, y'all. Shoot! And somebody say, why well, I use Baker Joy? I use Baker Joy because I was a paying person on duty. When my grandma know you'd be baking their case. I used to always have to take the old napkin and rub it all in there. Sprinkle the flour with. I got tired of that, so when they made this, I bought this, okay? Say what you want. Now, if you want to do the old-fashioned way, like I said in my previous video, you can. But I'm going to do it like this here. I had enough pans shaking and dropping on the floor and stuff when I was coming up. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Here. Spray your pans down. Voila. Then what I'm going to do. Actually, let me get that cup. This. Okay. That's so pretty and red, y'all. It's tight. Tight. Okay. What I do, I always take my uh, cup here and do it like this so they can kind of be even. She done made herself sick, y'all. <laughs> show them the, the pound cakes I got over there ready to go in the oven. I got cakes. I got other cakes that I done baked over there from cake orders, y'all. But come back over here now, Kevin, man. Show them. We just scoop them in here. Try to get the same amount in each pan. Yeah,
Okay. Now, with my bunk case, my pound case, I don't drop them. But with the red velvet case, my grandma always dropped them to get the eye. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Then we're going to go smooth them out. Make sure they're going to be even, you know. Then we're gonna drop them again. Oh shit! Then we put all of them in the middle rack of the oven, 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Again, you insert your uh toothpick or your uh screw, whatever you have, to make sure they done. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in the oven, and um, when they come out, we let them cool. I'm also going to come back and show you the homemade icing for it, okay, y'all? Boom! I'll be right back with you. Doop. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So the cakes done cooled down. I'm flipping them out the pan. We finna ice them. And I'm going to show y'all the finishing product on this red velvet cake, y'all. Okay? So here's my icing. I flip one out. We're going to take some of the icing. Put it on here and rub it in the middle, okay? You ain't got to have too much. But this is all we do. Oh, Tasha, give me a cup of uh, hot water. Just rub some in the center here. Get the other cake out. Just go around with a butter knife. If you got bacon rights, let them cool on your bacon rights. But I don't have much of my stuff I used to have, y'all. So, do it just like this here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put some more in the middle. Like so. Take the other one out. You pat them down. Oh, this gonna be so good, y'all. This gonna be sure good. Thank you, Tasha. I always keep a cup of hot water for your knife for when we icing around the cake and stuff, y'all. So, what's wrong, Ty? Give me them on the pan so they can be okay for the next one. Thank you. You're welcome. I always start with my top first. That's so all we're doing, y'all. Icing in this cake. take it oh then we're just gonna start going around the cake like that y'all
That's all we're doing, y'all. Now, if you like a lot of icing on yours, you can double the icing recipe if you would like. Hey man, your phone is going off over there. Stop telling them bitches we record. We ain't got time to talk right now. Yeah, I bet y'all thought I was going to make it with this ice, huh? Let's tip it up with dirty roll, baby. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Yeah, I'm watching. Y'all, look at this. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you go around and cake again. Now, if you're going to bake your cake ahead of time with this uh, red velvet, if you ain't got no good cake dish or you selling them whatever, I put them in boxes, but then I put them in the refrigerator and keep them cold for my orders till they pick them up, okay? So that's just a little something, something. And this is your red velvet cake, baby. Yes. Yes, indeed. Now, y'all waiting on me to cut this, ain't you, baby? I know.
Okay. Y'all, this is your red velvet cake, y'all. I can't do no more. Y'all got to make sure you go over them steps. This is mine, so I'm going to let my ice around here. Oh, that ice is good. Mm, 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 mm. Baby. Y'all, try this recipe, like this recipe, and I guarantee, I guarantee, everybody and their mama gonna be coming back for this little piece of slice of cake from you, okay? Follow my steps the way I showed you, follow it foot to foot and do exactly what I say do, because you know what? Tip will never stir you wrong. Now let me cut into this cake to show y'all the final project so I can get back to baking them umpteen cakes. I gotta finish baking, okay, y'all? Huh. Let me get a knife over there, please. Look in that pan over there and give me one of them uh, little uh, plate things. But this here, let me get a close up of that. Y'all see that? That's red velvet, y'all. That's red velvet focus, okay? What the heck you got on the bread for? Child, that's what she do. Let me get one of these. So I can show my people. Okay, y'all, we finna cut off to it. Let's see. Yes. Red velvet tag, y'all. Red velvet tag. Ty, get you a fault. Come here. Y'all look it out. Oh. Get the camera, get the camera. I done been ice and wasted. Get in there, camera man. Get in there. Cake wasted. Mm. Y'all see that? Y'all see that white thing? You see how moist that is? Look how soft that is, y'all. Mm. Give me a fault. Shit! Oh! I did it again, y'all! I did it again! Let me show y'all something. Y'all know I'm just crazy I want to be. And look how much this cake is on that fault. That's what y'all want to see. Now who want to taste it better? Y'all don't? Oh, okay. Give me a piece. I do. Mmm. Come on around here. Give me off camera. I'm looking a hot, mm. smoky, shitty mess. Try that out. God damn it. Camera, you better take that shit right there. Right there. That shit good. Say it loud enough. It's good. Yes. Want some time? Come here. Come on on. Not right now. Not right now. Mm. Mm. Go it's ahead. Mm -hmm. I know it is. Y'all it see, it's so moist. My knife won't go down in it. But y'all, guess what? Mm -hmm. This been cooking with Tilt. I love y'all. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. Because I'm going to keep doing me. Make this year right here, man. And let me know. Red velvet cake for your ass, baby. This been cooking with Tilt. And I never stir you wrong. Peace.